All right, and welcome to Townhouse Restoration and Maintenance Shop here at the Seashore Trolley Museum. If you pan out and take a look at the shop floor right now, the first guy you see right here that says save money with weekly pass is a really good example that shows you how far Seashore Trolley Museum can go on restoring a streetcar. This car is fit right down to her bare skin. Uh, this car already has new siding on it. It has new window posts, it has new cross members inside that the floor will be attached to, it has two new bolsters. The bolster is the superstructure on the bottom that the truck hooks into, and it's hooked into it with a kingpin. So this car here is getting like a really overall, complete overhaul. It's number 7005, it was built in 1927, right here in Worcester, Massachusetts. It was called the Osgood Bradley Company, which later became the Pullman Company. You can still go to Worcester today and see parts of the old Pullman plant that are still standing today. Now the last thing that's neat about the Osgood Bradley Pullman plant is shut down in 1952, and you can go to Valparaiso, Chile, and ride some old 1952 electric trolley buses there, and those were built in the same plant that this street car right here was built in. Over there is our double decker being restored from Blackpool, England. This Blackpool double decker is unique because it has the open air ends on the second floor, makes it kind of unique. A double decker has not operated here at Seashore since the 1970s. So we'll be very excited once 144 is done. Uh, she's up on stilts right now because her running gear is out and getting worked on. And then that will go back underneath when it's done. The body has pretty much been restored. As you can see, the outside is, is nice. Uh, the inside is getting a little bit of work. So that car is coming along quite nicely. Back here in the back of the barn, we have two wooden plywood boxes. You can see these two enclosed areas in the back of the building. Those are heated boxes. In the winter time, we can work on two streetcars all season long because it gets very cold out here. If it gets to be 20 degrees out here, it is, I mean, 20 degrees outside, it is zero degrees in here. Always colder in here than it is outside, so very difficult to work out here. Now, if you uh, come down the walkway here, the streetcar located exactly directly behind the double decker is a 1901 streetcar from Lexington, Massachusetts. It ran between Lexington and Waltham. And this little streetcar was built by the John Stevenson Car Company in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which I mentioned that company because they are the ones that built the first ever streetcar for Manhattan in 1831. So this streetcar was built a good 70 years later, but it's the same company that built the first ever streetcar. Now, car number 41 from Lexington had a second life. That second life was a diner. This trolley car became a diner on Route 9 at Route 27 in Natick, Massachusetts. It was called Ray's Lunch. Mr. McGowan had this diner until 1962. In 1962, Seashore Trolley Museum acquired the car and it was tarped and put out back. This car came into our restoration shop in 2010 after 13 years of fundraising. $80,000 was raised in 13 years from our own members. Our streetcars are funded by our own volunteers and our members. They're very loyal and they say, hey, I want to help restore that car, so they send in a donation. So this car has already spent over $30,000 but it has a whole new side. We'll come down the walkway in a moment and see a whole new side has been put on that car because being used as a diner, it had a whole bunch of doors cut into it. So it, it needs a lot of work, but it's come a long way already since November 2010 when it came into the shop. And if you were to come into the back of the shop and look into this box, you'll see a car from Boston. It's called the Boston Center Entrance Car. 
The Boston Center entrance cars were the big workhorses that operated on Commonwealth Avenue, Deep Street in Boston. That is still the Green Line today. And what made those cars unique was they were running during the heyday of when Boston had a second baseball team. Boston had a second baseball team where the Boston University football team plays today off of Commonwealth Avenue. And that was the Boston Braves. They went from Boston to Milwaukee to Atlanta. But Boston had two teams, and of course the other one is the Boston Red Sox. So these were known as crowd-swallowing streetcars. When you look through the window, it has a big set of door. It was built purposely to suck up a baseball crowd. So come down and take a look at that.